Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use GTA 5 as probably the most realistic looking FPV flight simulator you can get right now. Uh, I went ahead and purchased GTA 5 through the Steam store. You can probably buy it otherwise. This is just how I'm going to use it. And we're going to need three things to do this mod. Uh, we're going to need three mods. So the first one's going to be this one called Script Hook. I'll have links in the description for you to use, so we'll go ahead and download this one. Then go over to download, hit download, that'll download. Close out of this. Uh, the next one we're going to need is the actual mod itself uh, called Quadcopter. We'll go ahead and download this one too. Hit download, that'll finish downloading. And the last one we're going to need is X360CE. And this is a program that's going to allow you to map your Tyrannus as if it were a Xbox 360 controller so you can use it in GTA 5 for flying. Uh, if you have a 32-bit system, use this link right here. Uh, we're using a 64-bit, so I'm going to hit 64. That'll download. Okay, after those are downloaded, we can go ahead and exit out of Chrome. We're going to want to go ahead and then go into GTA 5 install directory. So to get into that, if you're using Steam, you'll want to right-click GTA 5, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and this will bring us the game folder directory of the game. Then we're going to want to go to our Downloads folder, and this is where we have the three mods that we downloaded. The first one we'll go ahead and unrar is the script hook one. Open up that folder. Open up the bin folder, and basically you'll just drag all these three folders over into the GTA 5 game directory. I've already done this before, so I have to hit replace, but for you it'll just go in there normally. Go back. Then we'll do the same thing for the quadcopter mod. Go ahead and extract that. And then we can just drag these three files into the game directory again. Again, I've already installed these, so I'm going to hit replace. Yours won't say that. And the last thing we'll extract is the X360CE. Go ahead and extract that. And then for this one, you would just drag it into the game folder just like all the other ones. Go ahead and close your download folder. After that, uh, at this point, you can go ahead and plug in your Tyrannus. Uh, you'll want to turn on your Tyrannus first. And then after the Tyrannus is powered on, you can go ahead and plug your USB cable into the back of it. This is going to make it act like a joystick. Now you're going to want to scroll down to the X360 CE application and open that. That will open up. Yours is going to look a little different if it's the first time setting it up, but basically what you're going to want to do is copy all the mappings that I did. This is exactly how you'll want it to be mapped so that it flies just like how a real quadcopter would with all the correct channel mapping. So go ahead and pause the video and do that. After you've done that, you're going to want to go to the X, B, and A buttons and copy those as well. Uh, I have these uh, basically bound to my um, SH switch on my Tyrannus, which is the very top right switch. And what that's going to allow you to do is to hit the X and A buttons at the same time so that way we can get into the actual quadcopter um, mod menu and we can change everything because normally it has you hit the X and A on an Xbox controller but you don't have those buttons so we mapped it so you would. After you've done that you can go ahead and go to the FR Sky joystick uh, just make sure you're getting everything moving right there to make sure everything's being detected okay. Uh, in right thumb, you're going to want to go ahead and copy this 20 or make sure yours is set to 24% by copying this 7864 number and do the same for down here. And then we'll go to left thumb and you're going to do the exact same thing by copying those two numbers. Hit save and then you're done. And just make sure that your sticks are moving just like your Tyrannus sticks are. Hit save and then you can close the program. Now we're going to go ahead and actually start the game. So we're going to hit play. We're going to play the uh, local version. 
the online won't work with this mod. Once you're in the open world mode of the game, you're going to want to hold tab on your keyboard and then hit the enter key. That's going to put us into the quadcopter mode. Now, if you hit that switch that we bound earlier to A and X once, that's going to bring up the quadcopter menu. Once you're in this menu, you can adjust a bunch of things. If you go to camera, you can adjust the field of view, camera tilt, hit escape twice to get back to the menu. You go down to control. This is where you can control all your rates and your PID settings. I have everything already set the way I like. We can go to drone. You can change the mass, which is basically the weight. Then you change the velocity, which is the speed. Then you want to go ahead and have these three checked. 3D flying, no thrust stick down, and acro mode. What this is going to do is it's going to make sure that when your throttle stick is all the way down, your throttle is at zero in the game. Otherwise, by default, zero throttle is in the middle of the throttle range for some reason. Go ahead and go back again. You can go down to physics. Uh, gravity scale, collision, and use PID, I have those checked. Visual, uh, I have trails unchecked. It comes checked by default. And when you turn around and look backwards, it shows like jet trails. I don't know why, I think it's stupid, so I uncheck it. And that's basically it. And you don't want to hit exit, that will leave the mod. You just want to hit your switch again. And then basically you just push up on the throttle. And you're off. And then you can go fly and dive all the buildings you want. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try and help you out the best I can. Otherwise, feel free to watch this and I'm going to show you guys some random flying of mine.